time for narcissistic abuse story time. So back in early 2016, we had just got married. I had gotten pregnant. Uh, he was just starting the devaluation process like three or four months earlier, but hadn't really started to abuse me in earnest, but it was coming. It was coming with a rage, but he had done something that I wanted to respond to with an email because I wanted him to know my perspective. I wanted him to know exactly what I was thinking. I didn't want him to question that I loved him. I was already thinking about, I need to show him deference. That should have been a red flag. I need him to know that I love him so much. <laughs> so I explained all of this to him in the email. Like, I'm upset about this behavior, but I love you. And at the end of it, I wrote, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I wrote it 10 times, literally. And he wrote back the most short clip glib response. So when we talked about it, I said, why didn't you respond to anything I wrote in the email? And he said, I looked at that email and I thought to myself, I don't even know if I can stay married to this woman. And I just remember feeling like a stab in my heart, like this woman, like we're married. We just got married like five months earlier. I'm literally pregnant with your child. What in that email read as manipulative? And he was like, the fact that you wrote, I love you. 10 times at the end just showed me what a manipulative woman you are. <laughs> a key sign you're with a narcissist, the confusion is so palpable. How anyone could have read that email and seen it as manipulative. Only a narcissist thinks like that, where everything, everything is worthy of an attack. Even an email that says, I love you 10 times at the end.